today we're going to talk about the rock chassis from Falcor Defense. I feel like it's been a while. It's been released. We've run it through its paces, but we haven't really gone through all of the features that are packed into such an amazing chassis. So it's time that we dig into this thing. As you can see, it's aluminum. It's fully modular. You can add weight. You can subtract weight. Whether you're running PRS style, it's a law enforcement application, or it's a hunter match where you're looking for something lightweight. We have the ability to fix and tune this thing to fit anybody's style. And there's some other small benefits in there that also kind of help the process. But there are things that you wouldn't know unless you've actually spoken with somebody who's at Falcor Defense or if you've seen my chassis around at some of the competitions. So we're going to start with the buttstock, right? All right, so with the buttstock, it's nothing crazy, right? What we wanted to capture was it's fully adjustable. So cheek piece can move forward and back. Cheek piece can move up and down. You can also adjust the length of pull. You can add weight. You can change bag riders. You can adjust the butt pad. You can tilt it left, right for some of you wacky shooters out there that like to do that stuff. You can also elevate or reduce, right? So there's a lot of features built into this. But one of the things that when I was helping with the design of this chassis was it has to have a length of pool that can fit every shooter. So this is the most adjustable length of pool that you'll find on the market. It will go all the way down to 11 and a half inches and all the way out to 15 and a half inches. It's a solid bracket. You're not going to feel any movement. And you know what? If you don't like it, you can change it by adding a different buttstock that has some style of AR-15 buffer. Now we're going to move on to the pistol grip and talk about the different features of the pistol grip and some of the things that we want to incorporate in this area of the chassis. All right, so here is the pistol grip and this portion of the chassis. So what's unique about the pistol grip is that you can adjust where your palm and your fingers rest on the pistol grip. And the reason that we did this is so that you can get that actual 90 degree trigger press without having the gap between your fingers and the stock. Other chassis, other stocks, grips mainly that run into this issue is because it covers up the rear action screw. So what we've done is we made this two pieces so you can adjust forward and back to what level you want. I have it all the way out and then I have my two set screws that prevent it from moving and it's a solid unit that gives me the grip that I need for consistency. Another thing that you look at is you have a thumb rest here and it has five adjustments on the top and three adjustments on the bottom, giving you 15 different angles that you can set your thumb rest to best fit your hand or your sausage fingers, whatever you have like I do, right? So this is my method right here. And again, it's just another feature that helps me be consistent. And then if you look, we have a cutout in the trigger guard that allows you to reach the trigger tech triggers or the Remingtons or any of those triggers that have adjustments where you need to get up inside. Okay. And then two more things. Obviously there's a level built into this. Like most chassis, having a level built into the chassis is, is a nice feature. But what I want you to look at is this cut right here. And this is one of the changes that we made after the original production is I wanted the action to sit lower in the chassis so that your line of recoil would sit more even with where your, your stem of your buttstock is. So that is what this little groove here is for is to drop the action into the buttstock and actually lift the buttstock up so that your force of recoil is higher up on the collarbone, helping with that recoil management. And then another feature that I love, yeah, feature, I don't know why I said that, but anyways, is your mag release right here. There's an adjustment underneath because you could have MDT mags, you could have AI mags, you could have all different types of magazines, right? And none of them seem to be the same. So you put your mag in, you cycle your bolt, it doesn't pick up around because your magazine's sitting too low in the chassis. So what you can do here with an Allen key, you can adjust the height that your magazine sits in the chassis so that you're always cycling smooth no matter what. And all it takes is a little tuning, put each mag in, see if it cycles, make your adjustments. It's a really great feature, but it's such a small overlooked tool that 
people don't really think about this. They just complain if their magazines don't work or this company sucks. In reality, it's just everybody makes their own shit. So we've made it so that you can adjust and set that magazine to the height that you need. All right, now we're going to talk about the fore end of the rifle. Okay, the fore end of the rifle, it's actually a two piece system. What I was looking for was you have the ability to make the fore end as long as you want, right? 18 and a half inches total length with the extension. And the extension part is right about here, it adds another six inches, or from the magwell to the cut, it's 12 inches. So you can go from 12 to 18 and have a long rifle or a short rifle, depending on what you're looking for. Is weight something that you're trying to save? Are you looking for a long platform so you have more surface area contact? Really just gives you options. You can also add weight to the forehead. You got in-lock slots here on the side. You can put your top rail on if you want, or you can leave it off if you don't want it. On the inside, there are steel bars that are running down the center. You can add or subtract these depending on what weight you're trying to go with. So you can see here, this entire rifle is built to be as user-friendly as possible in terms of how do you want your rifle to be set up. So the next time you get a chance, go ahead and look at the Rock Rifle and check it out.